Have you ever dedicated a year to a challenge or a skill? I spent the last 365 days learning how to hack. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my highs, lows and everything in between as I learned hacking over the past year and uh, where I plan to go next. So, without further ado, let's get to it. I didn't start in tech at all. I was actually studying social sciences and psychology. But when I moved abroad, something unexpected happened. One day, my husband was participating in a CTF competition and I remember being amazed at the challenges that he was solving. So I decided to give it a try, but uh, I couldn't solve even the most basic challenge, guys. So I spent hours uh, trying to solve it uh, and I remember feeling uh, so frustrated and uh, at the same time I didn't want to give up. And that's when my husband introduced me to Triacme and it changed everything. With Triacme I started from the basics, learning Linux and following paths like uh, introduction to cybersecurity and I loved every second of it because I was finally able to solve some challenges. Soon, I started to solve hacking challenges more easily, uh, even though those challenges were a little bit basic. But still, uh, the first challenge that I tried, uh, I couldn't solve and that challenge was very easy. And now I was solving hacking challenges more easily than the first time. I could feel myself improving and that feeling was addictive, because it's a huge high when you see yourself improving. However, I wanted more real-world experience and that's when my husband introduced me to Hack the Box, where I could apply what I was learning in more complex scenarios. Along the way, I created this YouTube channel to share my journey and that turned out to be one of the best decisions that I've made. Not only does explaining everything out loud help me retain the knowledge, but also I've built a community that gives me strength uh, to keep going when I feel like giving up. Because it's amazing to have people with the same passion cheering you on. And for that I want to thank you for the support and encouragement in this journey. So, thank you guys. One example of how my community helps me stay motivated and on track was when I reached Script Kitty level on Hack the Box after solving two live boxes all by myself. I was super happy and I decided to share this with my followers on X and the response was amazing. I received a lot of encouragement comments telling me to keep it up, to not give up and uh, congratulating me for this achievement. For me this was a great achievement because it was a confirmation that I can do something by myself and that I can grow and improve into harder topics and challenges. But it hasn't always been easy, sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do anything. And there are days when I feel mentally drained or uninspired and that can be tough. It's especially hard after taking a break or going on vacation because when I come back it feels like that I'm fighting against this wave of laziness uh, trying to get back into the flow. And that's probably one of the biggest lows, rebuilding momentum after stepping away for a few days. But I've learned that it's normal to have these moments and I just try to not let them derail my progress. And then there's coding. Well, as you know, coding is a fundamental skill for hackers. And while I'm learning, it still feels like my Achilles heel. There's so much to grasp and it doesn't come as naturally to me as other aspects of hacking. But I'm determined to improve. Looking back, this past year taught me that hacking is more than just technical skills. It's about curiosity, persistence and willingness to learn from failure. I still have a long way to go, but I'm excited for what's ahead. So, what's next? Well, I'm setting my sights on something big. I want to begin my journey into bug bounty hunting, where I can apply everything I've been learning so far uh, to find real-world vulnerabilities. 
Another major goal for me is finishing my PJPT certification from TCM Security and I know that this is going to be tough, but I'm ready for the challenge. Now, if you are just starting out or uh, feeling stuck, remember that no one becomes an expert overnight. The key is to stay curious and keep pushing yourself. So tell me, what about you? Are you thinking about trying hacking or are you already on the journey? Let me know in the commentary section down below because I love to hear from you. And this is it uh, guys for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. Now before you go, consider watching this video here to see what books you should read as an ethical hacker. See you next time, stay curious, stay safe and happy hacking! Bye bye!